Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to get your games running online on websites like itch.io and the common pitfalls you might encounter along the way. Here in Unity I've got a nice scene here with a bunch of trees. This comes from the Nature Starter Kit asset, you'll find a link in the description. Anyway, so if I hit play you can see this has got a camera moving throughout the forest and basically I'd like to export this onto itch. Now first things first, you want to make sure you actually have WebGL build support in your Unity Hub. If you don't, all you have to do is go to your current Unity version, click the three dots here and add the module over here. It might take a while to download if you haven't got it already, but once you do, it'll stay there forever. Our next step is to go to File Build Settings. Here we need to make sure that we have WebGL selected. Just hit Switch Platform here. It'll take a while to switch over. I'll get back when it's done. Okay, now we've switched over to WebGL. Make sure you add any open scenes or make sure they're all enabled, the ones that you want. And then we're going to do some quick checking in the player settings. Here you can do stuff like change the name of your product, the default company name, version, but also stuff like the icon that'll show the same way Unity's icon shows here, as well as something like your default cursor. But the settings you should really be worrying about is in resolution and presentation. This is going to be your default size. I'm actually going to change this to 960 by 540. Remember this number, we're going to need it later. You can also customize your splash screen here. You just put in a bunch of images and you can hit the preview button here to see what it looks like. Very important here in the publishing settings is that you enable decompression fallback. Sometimes when I build without this, it'll only load up to 90% and then it'll stay there for eternity. Enabling this stops that. If that doesn't work and you still have the same error, you might want to try and play around with the compression format here. Anyway, with that done, we can go back to the build settings and we can go and hit build. Now that'll take some time to build. I'll be back when that's over. Okay, the build is now complete. To get it onto itch, if you don't have a store page, you can just hit upload new project here. Make sure you hit the HTML here in the kind of project, and then all you have to do is upload your file. Now, before you upload it, you need to make sure that this is actually compressed because as a folder, you can't really upload it to itch.io. Turning it into a zip though is acceptable. And all you have to check is this file will be played in the browser. And then you should probably put in your viewport dimensions here. These were the ones that we used earlier in the Unity player. So in my case, that was 960 by 540. And then if we look at the page, we can hit run game. And now you can see that the game's running all nice. Now there are some problems here with the borders. This is cutting into it. We can change that real easy. If we go back to the viewport dimensions and just add 50 here to the height, that'll make it so it's able to fit in this extra little Unity WebGL thing over here. Doing this also gives a better full screen button than the inbuilt itch one. By clicking onto it, you don't get any border. Okay, great, now you have a working project. The great thing about having a game in the browser is that no one needs to worry about any installation and it's immediately cross-platform, which makes it great for game jams. Now, of course, there's many other things you can do with it. You could, for example, just do a demo version of your game and have the full version available for download. Now, you'll probably want to also get some footage for a trailer. You can learn how to export your Unity scenes into the highest quality videos by watching this.